So I really wanted to make a part two to this video. I know I just filmed the first part of this, but you guys really seem to like it and I feel like I have so much to say on this topic. I have so many observations I've made since I've lost now about 50 pounds. When I started this weight loss journey in December of 2021, I was over 160 pounds, well over, I don't know the exact weight, and now I am 112. We have definitely lost a lot of weight. We've for sure lost 50 pounds at this point and even more from my highest weight back in like 2018 2017 so I'm obviously very proud of this but with that comes a lot of observations that you make of how people treat you things about your clothes your confidence so many differences and it's kind of a whole new world and I feel like it's really hard to understand unless you have gone through the same thing let's get into it so the first thing is my facial weight loss everyone always says like oh you're gonna lose weight in your face first and that is very very true I feel like even a week in to my diet I was like noticing differences in my face and now that I could see like what my face really looks like I am kind of shocked I even got a comment the other day and she was asking if I could let her know everything I've gotten done on my face and I have literally gotten absolutely nothing done on my face besides lip injections it is all pure weight loss I used to hate the side of my face now I don't really hate it anymore I just have a pretty strong jawline and I didn't know that and I have dimples they're not super huge I guess and noticeable but I have like a dimple over here that you can see all the time in pictures now and I'm like wait I had a dimple this whole time because I've always wanted dimples like dimples are so cute to me you lose weight and you get dimples like what do you mean like that's the greatest reward I could have gotten because I think dimples are the cutest thing in the world I think that's pretty cool I really like the structure of my face now my fear of bikinis is gone and lingerie and how I look in it and I feel like it's easier for me to take OnlyFans content as well I'm taking OnlyFans content is so much quicker for me now I mean I'm not gonna lie I facetuned a little bit back in the day my body I will not touch my body with facetune ever everything you see is what you get now but before last year the year before I definitely would touch my body a little bit with uh, OnlyFans stuff and that kind of vibe because I was just a little bit insecure about my body and I was like you know like I feel like that's just a bad angle like I can like fix that a little bit you know but it wasn't a bad angle it's really just like how my body was I needed to be more accepting and loving of myself at the time but I feel like I wasn't and I would lean on facetune for lingerie bikini photos etc especially but now I'm like not afraid to wear them I'm not afraid to wear them to the pool I'm not afraid to walk around a rave in a two-piece bikini like at all which is so crazy because I never would have done that before um, I wore like a two-piece really risque bikini to escape Halloween with like platform boots and it was such a vibe such a look I just like wasn't insecure about my stomach and stuff which I feel like was always like my biggest insecurity over anything else so yeah I don't know my fear of buying bikinis wearing them putting them on and them being too tight is gone which is nice but I'm still learning what my size is I feel like that's a big thing is like knowing what your size is because you still want to buy all the different sizes but I fit into like an extra small size too like I but I it might have something to do with being petite but yeah I still fully want to buy like medium size four size six like that's how I see myself but in reality I'm fitting smaller sizes of lingerie bikinis and clothes so it's just like very weird it's a whole new world that you have to learn when you lose weight because you're like wait literally what size am I it, it also doesn't matter as much as you thought it would like size does not matter to me like being a size two right now is not what everyone thinks it's like cracked up to be like you don't get there and like feel like you're the best person in the world like it's so exciting you're so happy you accomplished stuff but I feel like lots of women were like expected to want to be really thin and be like a size two like that's like a good size to be you know and it's like it just it's another day like it's just it's not that big of a deal when you reach a size two basically as I thought it would be being overweight my whole life being like imagine if I was a size two I was only like size two once in my life in like seventh grade it's not as like oh my god you know when you reach your goals and you get to your size and you get your goal weight it's just like another day it's weird I don't know and that sounds ungrateful but like I'm very proud of myself I'm very happy it's not like your life is gonna fucking change you know the second you reach your go weight over your goal size. I was really surprised to find out that walking on the treadmill like three to four times a week was all you needed to do for exercise to lose the weight. And granted, I could be much more toned. I really do want to work on getting toned. All you need to do is walk on the freaking treadmill. I would walk majority of the time, sometimes incline and sometimes run for like 10 minutes. Other than that, it was all walking and sometimes it wasn't even three times a week. Sometimes it was like twice a week and the weight still came off just the same. 
eating is the most important thing at the end of the day then exercise for weight loss specifically but obviously you need to work out working out is good for your body your heart your soul like it's just good in general you need to be active obviously but i'm just saying specifically for weight loss i was so surprised to find out you didn't need to like lift weights seven days a week and like run on the treadmill for two hours a day like i never was somebody to be like that and like go super hard at the gym like i always felt like just a little on the lazier side like i just wanted to like really work on my nutrition and stuff and that totally works but walking really elevates you to that next level it does kind of keep it going fast and just walking is so good for you so i got a star power treadmill sent to me and i am so excited about this i have always dreamt about having my own treadmill in my house or like a little home gym and setting it up is so easy so this is the unboxing of the star power treadmill i was so shocked to see how easy it was that was literally just one whole piece and then you have a second piece which is like the monitor where you change the speed and everything and then you just connect that and you're basically good to go once you do a few other things you're going to want to connect that piece and then put in the bolts to make sure everything is good to go and stable and you're going to do it on both the right and the left side and then just make sure that those are nice and tight the setup literally takes five minutes it's the perfect size treadmill it also has an emergency stop and it has a place for your phone and cup holders so you're just going to want to plug it in very simple it's just one big plug and then you plug it into the bottom of your treadmill right there and then you're ready to go you can adjust the speed up to 7.5 miles an hour so you can run as fast as you want on this thing or you can walk and chill you have a place for your phone you could watch tiktoks if you want um i was doing that on my walk or you could listen to some tunes this treadmill is usually 350 dollars, but they're having a black friday sale where you can get 50 dollars off so it is under 300 dollars, you guys so incredibly worth it the quality is so good for the price i think it's amazing they also have an app called pit pat and it comes with a heart rate monitor monitor watch so you get that with your treadmill it's so cute it's perfect and you press that little button you hold it down for a second and it turns on and you can connect your treadmill and everything to the app my favorite part of the app is definitely the fact that you can do multiplayer events online like you can play with your friends and make it really fun and exciting i think the training courses are pretty cool too and yeah taking it down is so easy like look <laughs> you just fold it down it's compact it has wheels so you literally just roll it and put it away or put it up against a wall somewhere safe definitely it's pretty heavy you guys have to check out the star power treadmill all the links will be in the description you could literally lose any weight that you want in your house technically at this point because it's in the kitchen your nutrition which is so important and you can get your walks in without leaving your house for those days that you're just really not feeling like going outside or going to the gym because i feel that 100 percent. i feel like my level of confidence is so much different now and that feature on instagram where you can go back and see your archive story highly recommend you do that and go look back at all your memories of the past few years that you completely forgot about that's like honestly why I like to post on my story is to like keep memories and I was looking at my 2018 story archive on Instagram I was an entirely different person and some of you watching this might remember me from back then in 2017 2018 I did not post my body anywhere I did not want my body to be seen and it's not even like I was purposely doing it I think I just like kind of pushed it down in the back of my head like I I'm not really comfortable with my body right now so I'm not gonna show it you know and I feel like I did the most to go without showing my body and obviously that is completely opposite now after losing all this weight you don't care you can let somebody film you you can post your body you want to post your body because you're proud of it and it just makes me so sad that I felt that way about myself because no matter what I was beautiful at any size everybody's beautiful at any size literally like I'm not just saying that like I was never sitting there being like, oh my god, I hate myself. I'm so ugly. I'm so fat. Never talk to yourself like that. I never talk to myself like that. You have to have like a different level of self-love for yourself regardless of your weight. Your weight at the end of the day is just a very small part of you. You know, it's not you. It doesn't make you you. And I knew that, but I definitely like to other people and now seeing it from my point of view now can see how insecure I probably came off. And it's probably why I did feel like I got picked on a lot by people online back then is because I I was like technically showing my insecurities by not showing myself and my body you know what i mean it's my birthday by the way today hehe <laughs> happy birthday to me i'm about to go have a great day i'm all dressed up you'll see my outfit on instagram anyways but yeah my confidence is like level 10 now um not even just like about my looks at all like just my confidence about like who i am how much i've changed physically and mentally and emotionally and just everything you just kind of gain this crazy new sense of confidence that is not just superficial it's just a crazy new sense of confidence 
confidence in yourself and just trust in yourself I talk about that all the time but it's the truest thing when you can make a promise to yourself and keep it there's no other better thing my skin has cleared up a lot I think I actually kind of found the root of my problem because I would still get hormonal acne here and there although my skin has cleared so much since now my whole diet is like whole foods and fruits and healthy stuff um, my skin has changed so much but I would still get these annoying hormonal pimples like around my chin and a big thing I think I figured out from TikTok and it's working I've only been trying this for like three days though but it's working is making sure that you eat before having your morning coffee and I guess it like releases a lot of cortisol which then like fucks up your hormones and all this stuff when you drink coffee on an empty stomach so I started eating before my coffee and I've noticed a significant change in the amount of pimples on my face which was never that much but like two or three now it's like really going away or they're all shrinking and I'm not getting any new ones I'm very pleased to say that so if that's a little tip if you have like random hormonal acne and you're like an adult and you're just like where is this coming from why are my hormones fucked up I'm not on birth control try that try eating before your morning coffee and it will probably make a huge difference because I'm already noticing it I have been getting a lot more male following which just continues to prove a lot of theories that I had back in the day and whatnot which I feel like a lot of people didn't want to commit to me date me because of my weight maybe that was just how I felt about it at the time and that wasn't true because I don't know I do feel like I'm a great person and regardless of my weight why wouldn't you want to be with me I'm just kidding but like <laughs> I have this like rave app called radiate and I just was like can't wait to see you guys at escape I was like so excited and I posted a cute picture of myself from nocturnal and uh, literally like blew up the likes more than I've ever gotten before like probably double if not more than double the amount that I've ever gotten before and all the comments were like rave guys and I'm like obviously not responding to any of these people or gonna message them or hang out with them or anything like that it was literally just like can't wait to see you all like referring to girls and guys but it's just so funny on there I mean guys will do that to like so many girls on there it's not just me but it's just compared to like my posts before compared to now it was like wow I get many more of male followers on Instagram and Twitter now and my male to female demographic has changed so much before it was like 10% male or something if that and now I feel like it's I don't know I, I could go check I mean I definitely have more female than male following because I'm trying to be very like catering to the girlies and that's just like who I am I'm not like I have a boyfriend and shit like I'm not trying to cater to that even though I do do only fans I'm not trying to be like look at me men you know because why would I do that Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, now it's 24.4% men, 75.5% women. Because I'm telling you, that was not last year. That was an observation. I have been told by men all my life to lose weight. So I am not at all shocked. That's all I'm gonna say. When I plan an outfit in my head, it turns out super cute every time. It turns out exactly how I envisioned it. And before, that was not the case. And I feel like that's why my sense of style looked so bad before at least to me looking back on pictures and stuff I'm like okay I mean sometimes it was super cute like 2019 I feel like I rocked my style but 2018 2017 2021 was getting a little iffy there again and that's because every time I gain weight I lose my sense of style and every time I lose weight I gain my sense of style and I feel like I need to just continue my style throughout no matter what my body looks like but I feel like I wouldn't allow myself and I would go for the comfort and I would go for like just whatever I thought would like flatter my body the best instead of like what I actually wanted to wear like I would never have worn this dress that I'm wearing right now because it's like super tight and like I just never would have worn this before I wouldn't have thought it looked good on me and so that's been like a huge shock is like realizing how much of a sense of style I really do have when I lose weight. There's no reason I can't wear exactly what I'm wearing right now when I was my heaviest. There's no reason, but like my mind and my brain wouldn't let me. Like it literally would make me dress less cute. It's so hard to talk about this stuff because it sounds like I'm just coming off a certain way or like, I don't know, but it's like, no, I've just been through all the struggles. I've been through all the weights. Like I, it's a mental game, constantly yo-yoing your whole life. It's really hard, honestly. Sexy time is honestly so much better. I lost all my will to tan. Obviously, I've gone through many stages in my life where I wasn't tanning. But then when I was gaining weight, I would go through so many stages where I had to be tan 24-7. I had tanning memberships. I would tan on my patio. I would tan at the pool. I would tan anywhere I had to tan because they always said, if you can't tone it, tan it. And I always felt like if I was bigger, I at least needed to be tan to appear slimmer which didn't work and at all I just literally burned my skin and aged my skin like there was no point to it I will never 
feel the need to tan again. This is what I was born with. This is what God gave me. You gotta learn to love what you were born with. And I have learned that. And it's been really nice to get out of that toxic mindset of like, if you can't tan it, tan it. Like all these little things that just stick in your head from when you're young, you know? And you don't know how hard I would go to make sure that I was tan. The lengths I would go to make sure I was tan. Now I could actually care less and I'd rather hide from the sun and wear all the sunscreen in the world because I don't want to get sunburned, I don't want to age my skin, and it makes my tattoos look so much better. And I feel like the more confidence I've gotten in myself and my body, now I'm like, oh, I don't have to do my nails all the time. I don't have to like dye my hair crazy colors. Like I don't have to tan. I can literally just exist. I don't know. I wore platform shoes to escape Halloween a few weeks ago and I didn't have any pain. Fully confirmed because I went to EDC 2021, I've talked about this, and I got full blisters on my feet, couldn't even go to day three. I was in so much pain because I wore Converse. The same Converse that I also wore to escape Halloween and had zero blisters or issues with. A thousand percent confirmed, your feet like lose weight. I never knew that, I never thought that would happen. I am a solid size six now, I'm not a six and a half or seven, I'm like a six. How is that possible? I was never a six. I had zero pain coming back from Escape Halloween and I wore giant platforms all night. Like I went home in them. I never took them off my feet. I walked around the whole festival multiple times in those giant pink fuzzy boots. Amazing, amazing. Literally the best thing ever that is the number one thing I think I'm excited about is no feet pain and I've talked about that before Sorry, I'm talking about that again, but like seriously, that's the best part about this It is so easy to eat the same foods that you've always loved and just making a healthier version of it It's so easy to make healthy chicken nuggets It's so easy to switch out barbecue sauce for sugar-free barbecue regular chocolate for sugar-free chocolate Which granted you shouldn't always switch everything to sugar-free because it can really hurt your stomach and it's kind of just chemically it's not super healthy to just eat a bunch of sugar-free stuff but like you know if you have to make those switches here and there it's just very easy to you know get less calories so you can stay in your calorie deficit and keep losing weight etc etc but also just like i have these really healthy chocolate chip cookie recipes i have healthy pumpkin protein cheesecake recipes i have like literally like so much so it's absolutely amazing and you can still eat the things that you love you just swap it out for different things and you don't put all the butter in it and all the fattening stuff in it and the oil you just take that stuff out it tastes pretty much exactly the same or very similar and now you can still lose weight and stay in your calorie deficit and be healthier because you're not getting all those like super unnecessary things i'm surprised that originally i'm not gonna lie i do feel like i kind of did this for aesthetic reasons i wanted to feel really good in my body and dress really cute again and just feel really confident and it kind of ended up just giving me a love for health and I kind of just instead of falling in love with how I looked continuously when I lost the weight I started to fall in love with how I was feeling eating all the proper food That's the main thing that'll help you stick with it is falling in love with the way that you feel doing all this The way that you feel working out going on your walks and eating all your healthy food is so much more rewarding and amazing and addicting Than the way that you look because that will come and go, you know Once you stop getting your praise once you know everyone is used to you you're used to you What's next? You can't just keep losing weight. So you have to really fall in love with the side of it that's not superficial and aesthetic. All that excitement is going to end at some point, kind of, you know, because it's just going to become now your everyday. God, my feet are falling asleep and I'm wearing these giant ass platforms. Wearing these big ass platforms and my foot's falling asleep. I became so much more sure of myself as a person. I've talked about this pretty much in this video already, but like, I just became very calm and sure of myself and really like, lots of self-reflecting. I just changed the way I give myself to the world. And I sound so extra, it's true. I feel like I am literally night and day from whoever the hell I was before. I'm like truly such an elevated version of myself. And like I said, I'm much calmer. Still get irritated easily. I still have that Italian fucking fire in me, but like I don't let shit get to me anymore. I don't let shit ruin my day. I don't think negatively about everything. I don't pick apart everything like i just exist people asking me how i did it answering that question is so hard granted i have so many youtube videos and stuff on how i did it and i post tiktoks and i'm always talking about how i did it but answering that question is so hard because it is literally all mental at the end of the day if my mental wasn't in the right place and i wasn't motivated and it wasn't as important to me as it was like this never would have happened i never would have lost the weight i would never have been this happy but mentally i was so like done with everything that was happening in my life even the last few years from that point but that year too and i was just like 
I need a change like I need to fix whatever's going on is not working and mentally is where this diet started for me it literally started from a place of like i am at my lowest low and i need to do something where i can take control i learned from that moment because of my success this is the biggest diet i've ever done this is the lowest weight i've really ever been my whole life realistically uh definitely my adult life i did it you know like i succeeded i got to where i wanted and not just like half-assed like even my weight loss journey in 2019 i only got to like 138 I'm 112 right now you know but yeah it's like all mental so answering that question it's like so easy for me to be like eat healthy eat whole foods and work out like that's obviously how you do it that's how you're gonna lose weight but that will never last unless you're mentally ready to do this and you're mentally there and you're mentally motivated other than that it'll never work because you will just go back to old habits, you'll go back to old foods that make you feel good, etc, etc. It's really hard to explain, like you just have to be at that place in your life where you're like, I will not give up, I would rather than give up. Having to unlearn my previous insecurities, that's a big topic to talk about, but like having to unlearn previous insecurities, like not wanting my body shown on camera and stuff, so I feel like I forget sometimes, like, oh my god, like I want Seb to just like film me walking around the rave. I just forget those things still, but those insecurities that you had in the past, like you do kind of have to unlearn them, because it's not like they just magically go away. You don't just magically get rid of your insecurities that you had before, and you just have to like teach yourself a brand new world, I don't know. But yeah, all around, people treat me a lot better and it's really crazy it it really is sad that is all i hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to follow me on instagram twitter OnlyFans, social media tiktok and subscribe to my youtube channel i post a lot of videos like this and i will be posting some good videos going forward so i love you guys so much i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video bye guys